Hey everybody, it's Adam from Collection DX, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Luke Skywalker Bestman outfit by Hot Toys. This is the seventh release in their DX series. They do a line of 12-inch figures called the Movie Masterpiece series uh, that become sort of legendary for their fit, finish, quality, attention to detail. Their DX line tends to go just a step above usually fancier packaging as you're seeing here. Uh, they'll also tend to up the ante on the accessories, often including a second costume, maybe an alternate head. In this case, we actually end up getting inside two bodies, um, as you can see here. This is par for the course with the DX stuff. They'll have little cards and foil embossments, giving you all sorts of information it's just beautifully presented when you get it so out of the box let me tell you this is a $300 set um, normally hot toys 12 inch figures will run you about 100 125 for a normal human type body in a, in a nice costume um, these feature the MMS I mean the uh, PERS the purse or the parallel eye roll system um, not just one body, but two bodies. And this is, again, a little a step up from what they normally do. Uh, loaded with accessories, alternate hands, lightsaber lit, unlit, you know, just the whole kit and caboodle here. Um, this is the Asian import. This is not the sideshow version, so I do not have the bonus Darth Vader head that's blowing open, revealing Luke's face. Also there in the bottom of the tray, packed in, is a little surprise we'll show you in a bit. As you can see, out of the box, the uh, figure is stunning. Um, I originally had the Sideshow version of this figure that came out, I want to say, around 2007, I think. Uh, I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments. Um, and I was very happy with that, but that compared to this is a night and day difference. If you want to see that, by all means, go check the full written review for this uh, set here. And I have some comparison photos for you. Uh, the belt is actually leather, uh, if I've read correctly. Uh, the pouches do not open, but they do slide around. So if you watch the movie, you'll find that Luke's pouches magically move around through the film. So if you really want to be a stickler, depending on the scene you're trying to recreate, you can indeed remove those, slide them off, etc., etc. But beautifully done. Real metal hook there that you hang your lightsaber on. Uh, there's actually a magnet in the holster to hold the strap in place. Um, here, the boots, these are hand-painted, and this is the same thing with the head sculpt. Um, the attention to detail the artists over at Hot Toys give these things is fantastic, and uh, it's just very well executed. Um, I'm just, I, I can't even put into words. I mean, here, look at this. I mean, this really looks like Mark Hamill come to life. Um but the thing that really puts it over top, not only is the sculpt and the paint detail perfect, the, the eye system here I was telling you about, well, as you remove the head and there is a stick that allows you to adjust where the figure is looking. Um, I cannot emphasize especially how lifelike this brings poses to life. Now, it really is dependent on you getting it just right, that's the art of posing your figures. It really makes these things pop on the shelf. It really allows a, a, just a, a complete, it, it just changes everything. And if you've never experienced this, if Hot Toys ever does a figure in the DX line that you, of a character you love, don't even think twice about trying to uh, pick it up because you will not be disappointed. The beat Luke, that was the hero Luke, we get a second Luke that is completely beat to heck after his confrontation with Darth Vader. Um, so they've scuffed up and torn up and beat up the costume. The head sculpt is new. Um, there's also an alternate forearm you can pull out there that will allow you to basically yeah, put that you know severed stump forearm on. There's a magnet there in that base that will allow you to attach the hand. It's, uh, it's very nice. So here you go. You got the auto tourniquet. This is the original uh, articulated limb, and I've swapped it out here. The magnet will hold the hand in place. 
And then you can remove the hand and, oh no, where'd my hand go? So <laughs> there you go. Also included, you get a nice uh, carbonite themed base with a nice metal plaque for the name. And this is their standard base. And even for a standard base, it's very nice, has a name plaque on it. The tower, the weather vane here, the top part there with the electronics is plastic. Everything from the light down is die cast metal. The little fins on the end of the weather vanes are plastic and the base is plastic. But it's a big giant two foot plus tall die cast metal frame lamp that you can hang the whole extra loop off of as you can see it lights up i apologize i'm still trying to master sort of the night lighting photography so i wish i was a little brighter guys sorry about that but it looks really nice in person lightsaber looks like a prop from the movie uh, the blaster same thing i mean as you can see here this looks like mark hamill uh, articulation is very good on the bodies. These are their uh, true type bodies. They have 30 points of articulation, you know, up, down, left, right. If you look at the inside the socket there, rotates, double, you know, jointed, ball joints on the hands. And this is repeated through the legs. I'm not going to strip them down completely to show them. But you can get some really nice, natural, lifelike poses out of the Hot Toys figures. They're just very well executed. I love this version of Luke. He is hands down my favorite. This is my favorite film, this is my favorite character, and this is the favorite moments for my character. So for me to seek out a deluxe version, um, Hot Toys is it. Like, if you love this character as much as I do, you're not going to be disappointed. Um, it is pricey, but again, I'm really into the character. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this little peek. Um, thanks to the folks at Angles for getting this to me. I appreciate it. Till next time, I'm Adam. <laughs>